What is up everybody? Welcome into this new video of TechPress. I'm going to be showing you in today's tutorial how we can track your competitor's audience to see what we can do inside your Facebook ad ads. So what you want to do first of all is to locate the actual meta ad library. This is like the best, but really, really the best tool to search all the ads currently running across meta technologies to find an ad uh, using the keyword, whatever you wanted to for an advertisement. So let me show you how this actually works. Here we do have the search ads, set your location and choose an ad category to add your search view search types. So in my case, I'm going to go and look out for this country location and I'm going to go for something. Let's go for all and here into ad category you want to go into all ads. Now here into all ads and category you want to go, let's go for food. I'm gonna go into search for this exact phrase and here as you can see we have the BuzzFeed food. So I'm gonna open this new tab and as you can see this option, this guy has no ad running at the moment. So if I go into the about section, I can see like this guy is actually legit. Here's the Facebook page, the Instagram page, the page history. So this is how you can check it out. This is the actual, uh, let's say our competitors are into Instagram and we wanted to just copy this link and paste it in here to see if these guys are running some ads. If don't, you can go into here. For example, you could go for something much more easier. Let's go for something like Unibozo. You could go here, Uniburzo like that, search this exact phrase. And as you can see, we do have a lot of results, but these results are from Universal Pictures and the actual stuff that they're actually doing for these ads, as you can see, this guy has ad for multiple versions, two ads used these creative and text. And what I want to do is to check it out with one, which one fits for us the best. So I'm going to scroll a little bit down and look out for the one that fits to my needs. Let's say, for example, into English only. I'm going to scroll a little bit down once again. And I think it could stick around with this first one and hit into see ad details. So this ad details should be taking me into what is uh, what I'm seeing here into the ad the name of the person who's making the ad. You better pray you're not this mix of me, blah, blah, blah. This is one of three, two of three, and three out of three. So this is an actual image and a video, multiple versions here about this page, more information, I scroll a little bit down. And as you can see, I have this ad has multiple version. So this is how uh, it's really important for us to see how it's gonna be looking our actual competition, the ads of the competition, and how we can track all of those ads. So I'm gonna go now and not look for something uh, too broad, but with something much more specific. So let's go once again into all, and instead of choosing all, let's go for only Mexico. Here into Mexico, this is the reason why I'm here, uh, here into Mexico. So what I want to do now is to choose the ad category. I wanna go into all ads once again, and here I'm gonna do exactly the same thing. I'm gonna go for Uniboso Pictures, I focus now here, and as you can see, we only have less than 23 results launched into May. So as you can see, here are the actual links. Here's what my competition is actually doing. And this guy has actually an, an active one. The amount is spent, the impressions, the runs, and all that. So what I want to do is to check it out, the actual ad details of what this guy is actually doing. So. I have the more info, I have the, the information here, additional assets from this ad, I can enable this one, here is the actual link, this is the text, what is going to be helping me, here is the photos, so about ads and data use, this one is not important, this is something like just the fact for uh, terms of use of the Facebook ad, so if you already know that, just close this one at the moment, just focus in there, just go into the upper side, I'm going to go back into my search result, and instead of going for the ad library, I'm going to go for ad library report. Now, the ad library report is going to be helping me a little bit more about the reporting stuff from the specific ad that you're actually looking for. So. Uh, I'm going to go into, uh, let's go for the last seven days. Let's go for the last 90 days and here to search for an advertiser. Once again, I'm going to look out for Unibozo. I'm going to go into search like this. 
And now as you can see, we have the Embeamed Med Spending Tracker to your side. So this guy at the moment for this actual advertisement, this is the amount that the advertisement has, has paid, of course. The number adds in the library. And here still is much and much more information, of course, uh, from the last day. If I go into the last 90 days, check it out, the amount spent here, almost like uh, a million here, which is like a lot, really, really a lot. The location says stays in Mexico, the, um, Jalisco, and much more. So if you focus once again into the upper side, let's go for instead of Mexico, let's go click and go all the way down and look out for the United States. So the number total of ads in the ad library is 15 million more than 50 million which is really really a lot really really a lot and uh, the page name here i can go for the last 30 days for example here and joe biden is the one that's doing like a lot of amount of spends here the last seven days jp morgan chase bank so this is going to be helping me a lot to track like what is my competition doing so maybe it's actually working for them but this not necessarily is going to be working for me. So I want to go and let's say, for example, go and scroll all my way down for the last seven days. And this girl says Delfina Gomez Alvarez is spending really, really a half a million dollars to run a lot of ads. So I'm going to click here and this one should be taking me into the ads library of this user. So I can check it out. What does this competition is actually doing? So as you can see, this one is about social issues, elections, politics. So I don't want to mess around there. But check it out what this actual girl is actually doing here so we have this started running until the may here's the platforms the categories the estimate audience size the amount spent per day the total of impressions and the id here the unique identifier for this specific ads and here is the actual ad so um, this is how guys we can just track our competition to see how it's going to be working for us and then later on into the upper side you do have the filters so the filters should be helping you to check it out the different languages the platforms the media type uh, from one month to one other to disclaimers the estimate audience size so uh, i think this one should be helping us a lot to see what do we need to update or to improve to our ads from facebook meta and then later on we can implement the same stuff that's actually working from our competitors into our own actual uh, organization company or whatever you are uh, here into so this guys is like the way of how you can use the ad library you have lastly the ad library api but i don't want to focus a lot in that because this one is more for application programming interfaces so this is like a little bit something much more different um more codes and all that we don't want to focus a lot in that we just want to focus into the ad library into the ad library report but then later on we can talk about this if you want to uh into a few more months later so with that being said guys we have now finished we have now reached into the very end of the video so hopefully this was a very useful video for you guys so thank you once again for watching the video don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel guys and with that being said i'll see you on the actual next video see you soon